Hello, the Brew Crew, another football manager uh, fantasts here, and welcome to Club 7, episode 3. And today we meet you, Gordon, in a very excited uh, league match here. And uh, yeah, we are. I'm just going to go through I first here, but nothing in particular. We have not done any sign. It's a little bit worrying thing is that our economic situation doesn't look that great as you can see we don't have too much in bell what's more bell well so yeah we might need to sell some players and that doesn't look good either so but it is still okay and it's secure our uh, economics so hopefully it will not be any problem but yeah we've just played one match since last uh, who was it against now Yes, Kalmar. We, we got the draw there, so nothing in particular. Let's just go to the signings that the other club have done. I don't know if we can see all, but as you can see, we are uh, expected fifth, and we are n have no players in the, what to call it, in the uh, media dream team here. I believe there's... Yeah, it's only I co players and or actually it's one one player here. That's you Gordon. Back uh, so let's go upwards here. And we start with Hammerby, who signed actually my pre player here. Uh, Eric Sundstrom, I would say a good signing. I decided to sell him because he was not impressive and it's not really ever been super impressive. So yeah, we will see how he will do it. As uh, Sebastian, yeah, he's a own project actually from Hammarby. He's been two seasons out in Molde in Norway and developed pretty nicely. So I would say it is a brilliant signing of uh, Hammarby. He cost he cost actually less than the, when they sold him to Molde. So that's pretty good. And then Christopher. Uh, Lund, uh, who unfortunately he has his own product of Ellsberg, but he didn't want to sign for us, or I don't know why I did not sign them, but maybe it cost too much. I think that was the issue, so we might try to get him in for us. He, he actually played two caps, so he would be a nice signing, so really good signings, mostly defensive though, and they lost one player. This player, I guess it's nothing in particular, he's okay, but nothing else, so yeah, we'll definitely fight with him, because that was some really nice um, transfer made by them. Um, Hugh Gordon has signed Antonio de Carlios, uh, who's played in Malmö and Ico and as well played a little bit in Serie B, so he is actually playing pretty high, he was um Lazio signed him there, but he never played the um, Serie A match, but still pretty good there. He's a Ascola project from the beginning. He never really got the chance. He's, uh, in Malmö he got a little chance, but never done anything spectacular. He's, he's pretty good p uh, pace and speed, but he's a little bit old, so I don't know if it's his best signing. Uh, but they signed them for free, so I guess it's nice still. Uh, um, and he is known to this league, so that's good as well. They've signed a youngster, Gunnar Mortensen is not good enough yet. And then they sound, signed uh, Philip uh, Svenberg, who is pretty talented. He's already played an under-21 uh, Swedish uh, national team. Uh, so he is definitely one for the future, but they very much money to get them from Yifko after Borg, so I don't know if it was the best signing. They sold Thomas Holmien to uh, Malmö. I guess he did not do that great, actually. There, He did good in Malmö, but he did not really perform. I guess it was decent still, but they still lost by that uh, sell him in. And a Folkeson, Mikael Folkeson, don't know really either. I guess he was not good enough. He gets the Öster gets a chance there. Uh, Mau, 
Marcus Augustson. I believe they've sold more than they bought for, or they're not really signed too many players. Yeah, not too much. They've tried to sign my player here. Uh, what is it called? Enquist, but I've decided. Actually, 2.6, but I feel like it's not good enough because of the Enquist he's just gotten here and I might be crazy to not sell him, but I feel like it's better to sell him out board and yeah, I want a lot of money for him because he's so talented and so good and only 21 and, and as well to try to get Eric Anderson who is the player from Hecken, I believe he would be a good signing for, oh, sorry about that, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know, I feel like uh, Hammarby has done better signings just in, the, yeah, they have done better signings. As you can see, Oiko has a lot of more money. They signed from Dynamo Bucharest, I believe, uh, this player. Hamas Jakan, he looks pretty good, and we cannot see all the stats, but good possession, good teamwork, good work rate. He's played for Tunis, so that's pretty good. And as well, a young Czech uh, uh, Republic player here, with really good uh, physical there. Yeah, he could definitely be something for the future. It has already been... Uh, uh, first team player, weirdly, still they signed him for free middle, and it feels a little bit too much, it feels like a little bit they are overspending. Is it really worth three millions to get him in? I don't know. I feel like you could get better players, but uh, Dennis Andreasen is a real nice sign here, he's been brilliant recent season in uh, Malmö, so he would definitely be important for them. Uh, very good um, defensive midfielder um, and he's good technique as well so he's good on both ways there and he doesn't cost as much in weight so that's great for them as well. And then they signed just like me Sommer and uh, Patrick Birtilsen they might be the <laughs> might be a world a world class strikers in the future. So far, they are not really there. And then they, of course, sold Lucas Enquist free, which I don't really get. But oh well, do what you like. Patrick Passion they have sold as well to Malmo. A little bit weird. I don't understand that either, since it's a rival. Uh, and then they sold uh, Alex Cardos, I guess. I guess they got decent money, but still kind of weird just after one season. I mean, they did not get too much. Could have just rather keep hold of him. Uh, Daniel Halberg, the soul. I mean, he's done brilliantly. I don't know, I don't understand why. Aiko is selling the best player to the best team in the league. We have already seen some of the Malmö players which have signed from other clubs. Aiko, their Halber. Uh, Vincent Till, he scored against us. He is the Luxembourg and has played in championship just like my player. What is it called now? My Irish player is Sean Duffy. Uh, so yeah he's talented at a high level or whatever high level compared to Swedish Alsvensk and it's well he even played uh, one season here in Ligue 1 one season in uh, Scottish League it was even a youth player in um, Manchester City I think I remember that experience so that's good for them I guess uh, Bromby, they've signed him. Uh, checking at their last season, not not too many of these players really done great, but it's of course good to sign players from other rival clubs. And he definitely, this Nicola Agustini, has played in Huddersfield and 
uh, Bristol City and as well as some matches even in uh, Genoa uh, Serie A, Serie B okay, it's not, never been outstanding but he, I think he might be really good for this level totally really good okay, not astounding technical but I think he still will be good for them and then they have Theodore Ibrahimovic who unfortunately went to them he's a uh, own project of our I would have liked to have him yeah, he's called Ibrahimovic and he it's weird because Slatan Ibrahimic has uh, a Bosnian heritage or whatever, but this player doesn't have it. So it's like it, it's a normal Swedish uh, second name, but it really isn't. Felice Dami, uh, Felice Damici, I know him, him is the, uh, or I have had him in some team as well. And he's a youth player on Palermo from the beginning. Pretty good for this level, I would say. They sold him to uh, FC Chapnam. A little bit weird as well. If I feel like they could have kept hold of him. I mean, he's... Look at that. He's scoring a lot of points there. I don't really understand why they would... Another Nordic club. They're they kind of competing or, or are on the same level as... Pablo Fiori, I guess they just had to sell him because he wanted to get to a bigger club, probably. And, I mean, good good amount of money for not being that great recent seasons and such. He looks like a well-beater or whatever. Dude, uh, yes, they play even in Premier League now, wow. And then... I want to assign this play because he is contracting him out and he's Elsporian. They, they let him go to Gemeros or whatever they call. He looks pretty good. I would like to assign. We have to let him go there. Is there anyone here that's... I don't know. I should not take too much here to just check. Oscar Olsson was a weird as well. I don't understand that really why. They just sell to rival clubs, really. They would not do that in real life, and especially not... But I think not Ico and Hammarby did sign for... New departure, two new manager for, for the league here. David Conardo. I've never heard of him, actually. He's Swedish, though. It sounds more like... Uh, Italian name or whatever, but he starts in the game apparently as um, Lance Krona boys under 19th manager, but he's to taken a long way here and he recently actually was from Ellsberg, but yeah, he went to Ico instead because he thought maybe they were bigger or whatever so yeah but as you can see we are a little bit, unfortunately, a longer way. But I hope I'd suggest that they would just be in this four. But I don't know. I mean, it's just been one match, so it's really not too much to talk about. And, uh, yeah. Some surprising team at the top here, but not not too much. I might actually go a lot forward here. Um, Hammarby or... We'll probably do these two, actually, next. Uh, Aiko and uh, Malmö at home, because that might be really exciting. And then I believe, yes, then we have the summer break after the Ergrit uh, match. So, yeah, they have a summer break. Or I believe the qualification for that, I, I said wrong before. I, me I meant Swedish Cup. The winner of Swedish Cup gets uh, into the qualification uh, for Europa League. But anyway, we lost. So, But I believe there are like other leagues if... Who is it? If Hammarby uh, and Malmö is coming both uh, to uh, top uh, three in the table... It gets an extra spot in the league, just like uh, in the FA Cup and and uh, what is it called the League Cup in England. So yeah, uh, we start with Oscar Olsson, uh, Lucas Eng 
Enquist, uh, Hampus Lennarsson, he gets his first start. Jordan, Dimitrov, Jari Öst, uh, Crystal Lien, Gangst of Wayne, uh, Patrick Barristan. I think he's brilliant, actually. He's developing pretty nicely and will get his chance this year. Uh, Victor Lennarsson has been really good uh, starting off here in Enquist and Summer. As you can see, Summer, five goals in four, <laughs> four <clears throat> matches from the start. Which was weird. He actually did pretty good the, in the real life. He actually managed to take them up from like our bottom. I don't know what to say, but they actually did not decide. Maybe he did not want to stay. I don't know. Oh well. Johan. Oh. I remember it was. Uh, wow. They have him. I have him in, or I had him. He's pretty good. Pretty good, like Zero B class player. Simon Zantoro. It is at home, so hopefully we can win this. It would be real nice. I believe, uh, what are they called? Else for in real life are pretty good at home just because they play at synthetic. Is it called that? I believe it's called that, but yes. Not real grass or whatever, not natural grass. So it would be nice if we can take three points here. I don't want to get sacked either. But still, top uh, or top of the table we don't need, but we need, definitely need to, uh, yeah, the upper half, so to say. And it's always nice to get. Um, get a good start, of course. Um, but it might be tough. It might be tough. I think I would not be surprised if Malma and Aiko is going to be one. Right there, Simmer scores six goal. It might it might be better than that. I'd play. Oh wow, top of the table as well. Clash here. Or they expected the top teams, I guess it's not the series final because yeah, it's just been two matches and we can really not draw too much out of this so far because there have been so little football played so far so I think we will go a little bit forward I might as well actually I might next week or whatever do a um, intro for this. I'm not yet done it because I I don't know how it will look or I don't know if I should just do a similar like I did before with the traveler or if I should change and do it more on the club. I don't know and I'm not brilliant either of doing intros. Probably. Uh, Ingstrom, no! Why is he so tired after your 16 matches? Lennarsson to Lennarsson to Summer. Summer counters here and, oh, it's the crossbar. And it's a little bit unfortunate. The only team that has uh, uh, taken all the points are Urgrit and Helsing. But I think Urgrit is actually a newcomer here in the league. Um, now, <laughs> Why? What are you doing there, number 20? Engstrom is so totally lost. That was actually a player that's in real life. A Czechian player, Milowal. Well, cool, I guess. I'm sorry if you can hear music and such as well. Oh, good there, Olsen. Now there are three teams. Hecken. I think Hecken might be a uh, team that's going to surprise a lot of teams because they, they are, we signed of course uh, over Roman but I think they have actually a more interesting play they have that a midfielder that um, you Gordon was after Jari Ust good there interception Lennarsson Lien Enquist Enquist scores Brilliant there, brilliant pass by Lien. Christian Lien. 
and we are back in the game. This might be really close. Aiko has a pretty easy game, so weird that they just one point of the two matches is the same with you, Gordon. So, but I guess we should not say too much. I mean, it's just two, it's just two matches so far in the league. So, yeah, but still interesting to see. Okay, Enquist, he's just too tired. I don't know what's happened with it. Mortenson will come in here just because. Yeah, hope we cannot have a player that is so tired. Just, I mean, he did not do per se bad performance. It, it just looked like he wasn't able to. Uh, or he was just too tired. He had problem to just um, follow along the Jules Gordon players. Elena, some good their interception again. Enquist, gangster Wayne. He's not been prolific here. Simmer, Inquist, Leanne, Com Coppola, Coppola, wasn't it a big uh, player in actually Italian football that was a goalkeeper called Coppola, I don't know. Mortensen, very good interception there, we are winning bo uh, back the ball really good there, Lennarsson just with a direct pass, and then Summer comes through there and Coop. Coppola uh, saves the ball. He's been pretty good. His, I feel like we had the most of the game here. Jugern is not inefficient, but yeah, we have been the better team. And Jugern um, and, and Malmö doesn't even... They just have one point after two matches. I believe everyone... Yes, everyone has played two matches so far. But yeah, we should not say too much here. I mean, they're meeting uh, Hammarby. Uh, okay, we get in you there, Pires. Angel Pires comes in here. Oh, it would be nice if we would. Be, oh, that was a great interception. Though <laughs> maybe it was uh, maybe it was bad of me to actually get him out here. Maybe it's come to be prolific now. <laughs> They've not been bad, so I can I do understand if they are top team. Actually, been, they have been a top team, there, so it's it's kind of strange because they are sort of the similar teams in the not Tamarby, but uh, Hugh Gordon, Malmö is leading the league in real life, and uh, uh, Aiko has all been top of the or top. Yeah, top three or whatever to say. So that's kind of interesting. That is almost the same, except there are two other teams, or at least Tom's uh, or Hammerby. I mean, god damn it, I said wrong. Sorry about that. I would say so far not a too bad game. Who is tired? Barristrom is tired. Christian Leon, I might get Christian Leon off here actually. Or Fred. Fred. I think we will just keep it that way. We have a control. Uh, or controlling control. It's been a pretty close game, so I should not say more that we have had super much control of this match, but I feel like we have been slightly the better team and deserve this. Uh, 2-1 victory still, so yeah, and we have we've been just better offensively and that's a great pass and inquest oh, that deserves a goal actually, <laughs> to be fair that definitely deserves a goal so yeah, we'll probably play through a uh, lot here because yeah it seems kind of strange just to do the beginning matches and not too much to say either Great dear Bearstrom. Can you make a pause here? You're a little bit tired, which isn't great, but well. Um, maybe I should calm and concentrate. Uh. Oh wow, we are fourth now. I'm pretty happy with that. Malma gets a draw. Homestead, but they might have had tougher games. Eh? <laughs> I believe Kalma is not the most magnificent team, so I feel like we should probably have 
got more points there, but it's always difficult in the first match. And it almost seems always in Football Manager and that it's difficult or for at least for me to get all three points in the first match and then um in the next match it's or it's get better and better. And yeah, hopefully we can keep this up and continue to win and continue to be the top of the or top of the top half of the Allsvenskan. So yeah. So thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And I see you soon again. So bye.